hello guys so for last few days i could not post any video i was um, posting videos uh, of class 9 pass first chapter so in that continuation i am posting a sec second video or the first chapter of uh, class 9 maths levels so I, I would like to say i would like to regret i could not post videos for some time for due to some some reasons we are back again i'm continuing the first chapter of class 9 that is rational and irrational chapters you must have seen my previous video and i had discussed there in detail what are the rational numbers and irrational numbers and i solved few questions also there how to find uh, the fractions and solving fractions and many more things today i am talking about uh, how to convert a recurring decimal into a rational number so you can see here that this this number is 0 0.82 the bar is placed on 82 now this means this number is basically uh, this number is a recurring and and non terminating decimal number that also means that this is a rational number now rational numbers can be changed into fractions that's what we are doing here we're trying to convert them into a fraction there is a basic uh, you know uh, concept behind this question the basic purpose of the question is that we want to change these numbers into a fractional number so i first of all write down this number as 0.828282 now this becomes uh, this becomes a non 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 terminating and recurring decimal 0.82 these many times so what I do, I take this number as equals to x. So x is equals to 0.82. Now, uh, what I, what you can, what you should note down first of all in this question, if I make it plain and simple, how many numbers are being repeated? Bar ke niche kitne numbers hai? Ya kitne number ka group repeat kar raha hai? You can see here two numbers are being repeated. Do number repeat kar rahe hai. Multiply the number by x on both sides. I got that, that that shift the decimal place by two places, and I got 82.8282 and 82. I got two equations, equation number one and equation number two. I simply subtract, subtracting, subtracting. Equation number one from equation number two that gives you 100x minus x equals to 82.82882. 82. Subtract kariye yahan se. You got 8282 82 and 82. 0 and 0. I got out of it 82. Here I got 99x. X equals to 82 by 99 as you can see it is not anymore being cancelled by any number so this number is the fraction which represents 0.82 so I, I give you the next question after this so here the number repeated was only 0.82 bars was repeating now if I move on further you see the next question 1.38 bar bar is only bar is only with 1.3 and with 8 only that means only 8 is being repeated if i if i solve this question for you a little bit anyway so uh, so uh, I take some space here my question was my question is 1.38 bar so I write down here 1.38 bar now this means x is equals to 
1.38 bar or x equals to 1.38888 it is the only number which is being repeated now that, that two categories of number in this one which is after decimal place but not repeated and the other which is after decimal bit but repeated jo repeat ho raha hai decimal ke baad mein hai aur jo repeat nahi ho raha hai lekin decimal ke baad mein hai to ek number to bar se bahar hai और एक नंबर तो बार के अंदर है जो नंबर बार से बाहर है और जो नंबर बार के अंदर है हम उनके काउंटिंग कर लेते हैं एक नंबर तो बार से बाहर है और एक नंबर बार के अंदर है सो माय फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट आई काउंट द नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स आफ्टर डेसिमल प्लेस इज वन मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड बाई एक्स एंड दैट गिवस यू थर्टीन You can see further. There is one more number below bar. So again, uh, there is one number जो bar के नीचे है. मुझको एक number अब दोबारा multiply करना चाहिए. जो मैं first equation multiply करके लेके आया हूँ. उस number को ही हम multiply by ten. On both side. So that gives you hundred x. Equals to 138.8888. I got two equations, one and two, subtracting one from two. That gives you. 138 minus 18, 90x equals to 125. X equals to 125 upon 90. I can take down by three um, or or five as well. So five times 25 and five times 18. The answer is 25 by 18. That is the required decimal number. Required fraction which represents 1.38 bar. I again tell you, I again see this now. So I have a, I have such kind of uh, non non terminating recurring decimal number where one number is not repeating after decimal and only one number is repeating. So in that case, the step was that I first multiplied by x. And then multiplied by 10, so that gives you 13.88888. The first number and second number. I simply multiply once again this equation by 10. 100x minus 10x give you 90x equals to 138 minus 13. That is 125. X equals to 25 by 18 is the other the required fraction. I take one more question. 0.643 bar. So number is x equals to. You can see very carefully here. Decimal is only over three. Decimal केवल three के ऊपर है. Decimal six four के ऊपर नहीं है. Six four decimal से बाहर हैं. So I expand this number 0.643. Three, 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 three. Zero point six four three 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 three. This number, this number uh, is such kind of recurring decimal, non-terminating. Where after decimal, one number is being repeating, two number is not repeating. Now one number is being repeating. That is only three is repeating. I again tell you the step. The count down the numbers which are not under bar. There are two such numbers which are not under bars. So what I do is that first step: multiply both sides by hundred. And mark it as the first equation. 
Now you come on to the number which is repeating. Only one, one digit is repeating. Multiply this first equation by 10. So, 1000x is becomes the second equation. Kya karna hai bas ab? Subtract karna hai. Subtracting one from two. Subtract kariye. 13 minus, so we subtract this number 9, 13, 79, I got 579. So x equals to 579 upon 900. The number will be giving us 0 0.643333. So you learn these steps. See, these steps are very, very important. कितने नंबर्स रिपीट कर रहे हैं और कितने नंबर्स रिपीट नहीं कर रहे हैं एग्जाम के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है हमको ऐसे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस देयर आर फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चंस आई कैन गिव यू फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन गाइस यू हैव 0.083 बार 0.083 बार 0.227 बार एंड 0.3.54444 सो दे आर काइंड ऑफ रिपीट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चंस I will again solve them later on if you ask me, but you can see these questions are, uh, uh, they all are non-reoccurring non, uh, and non-terminating decimals. Now here three numbers are repeated, two numbers are repeating, or one number is repeating, or two numbers are repeating, they are repeating in this manner only. So the steps I have told you, now I tell you one shortcut of these questions. Let us take this example again. So if I have to do it in a short time, I don't have much time with me. Let us take a shortcut. So write down x equals to. You see that how many numbers are there on the whole in the in the disk in, in the given fraction? It is 643. So you write 643 and subtract those numbers which are not repeating, which are non of a decimal but not being repeated. Then in denominator, you count the number which is under the repeating bar and put one 9 for that. And then count those numbers which were repeating, put a 0 and 0 for those two numbers you directly come on to this step and that gives you 579 upon 900 you see what is happening in this aapko bas do cheeze yaad rakhni hai repeating kitne numbers ki ho rahi hai aur repeating kitne numbers ki nahi ho rahi hai so i take other questions and using a trick for them suppose the number is 3.5 Five four bar or number is zero point zero eight three bar. What do you think we can do in this? I'm leaving this question for you. They are all same category question where some number is being repeated and some is not repeated. So here, like like three point five four. So you see that only four is being repeated and uh, three point five is a uh, five is not repeating. What you should do? Write the complete number without decimal, subtract the repeating number upon put one nine for that number which is repeating and one zero which is not repeating. In questions could try kari. I will again uh, make one video for this for the shortcuts and short tricks on the modern questions for the entire syllabus till the time I'm moving ahead. I'm taking more questions because there are lot many questions to do which are more important as I can see. So here you see again all these kinds of questions are given to us 
0 0.0 0.227 only 27 is repeating only 27 is repeating multiply this number with the number of digits which is non repeating it is 2 multiplied by 10 you got 2.272727 then you can see that two digits which are not which are repeating now multiply by 100 more you got first equation the second equation subtracting 1 from 2 इसको फाइव से डिवाइड कर लीजिए फाइव टाइम फोर फाइव टाइम फाइव एंड टेक इट विथ फाइव वन थर्टी नाइन फाइव टाइम अगेन गोइंग बाय सेवन बाय थ्री एट एंड एट आई डोंट थिंक सो लीव इट हियर ओनली द आंसर इज फोर्टी फाइव अपॉन वन सेवेंटी एट आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन एवरी वन so that's how you solve these questions so they are now repeating steps ek bar in go apne aap try kariye i take few more questions okay let us see this question now we are entering the questions of certs so what are cert i give you example little bit Suppose you got a number 36, this becomes 3 into 3 into 2 into 2. Now I have got a pair of 3 and pair of 2 because it's square root hai, x 6 bahar a jata hai. Take number 45. It is 9 times 5, 3 into 3 into 5, you got 3 into root 5. This is mixed surge. This is pure surge. 36 perfect square. This is the square root. This is second root. Find out. So, when I have 3 square into 2 square, ke upar par 1 upon 2, so this is 3 into 2. 6 outcome दे देगा जब यहाँ पर हमने 45 में 3 3 5 के ऊपर में 3 square into 5 के ऊपर पार 1 upon 2 लगाया तो 3 की पार तो 1 हो गई but 5 की पार फिर से 1 upon root 2 रह गई so 3 root 5 is a mixed set some portion is some portion is uh, you can say out of the root and other is inside the root. So, search can be of any power. I got nth root of x that gives me x to the power 1 upon n. Ye ek cert ka matlab hota hai. Please ko yaad I am moving ahead with this. What we got to do here? Humko 2 into cube root of 5. And 3 into 3 root 2 को ascending order में arrange करना है. Now, how to arrange them into the ascending order? So, first thing to remember, जब हमको arrange करना होता है, mix certs, certs को ascending order में, तो वो mixed form में नहीं होने चाहिए. Rather, they should be in the pure form. So, ये, ये cube root है, और बाहर एक 2 multiply हो रहा है. ये two अंदर कितनी बार जाएगा? Three times. और यहाँ पर
it will go again for 3 times. This becomes 45 and this becomes 18 with the cube root of 3. Which one is greater? <coughs> this one is greater and this one is smaller. In the ascending order, in the ascending order, is smaller and that is the order in which we are following the ascending order. The second question you can say, you can see, now they all are square roots. Yaad rakhiye, jahan kush root na lagi ho. Sari kya hai? Square root. So, 6 into root 5 is actually 5 into 6 into 6. That is root 180. What is 7 into root 3? 3 into 7 into 7. 21 times 3 is root 63. Then comes 8 root 2. What do it give you? It is 2 into 8 into 8. It is under root 128. The smallest one? The smallest one. The second one is 8 root 2. And the third one is 6 root 5. The ascending order is the ascending order is 7 root 3, least number, 8 root 2, the second number, and the third number is 6 root 5. You can see that these numbers are arranged in the ascending order in this form. So, I hope you understand this question. Now, how can we arrange the search which are of the same root? Now, the issue is that they were same root here. How to arrange them into the ascending order? Let us move ahead with few more questions. I will take few more questions. I will take make another video for them. Because we got many more things to come in this chapter. Let us understand this question. Insert two irrational numbers between 5 and 6. What is 5? 5 is actually root 25. And what is 6? Root 36. I have to choose two irrational number. Root 26. Root. I can have many more. Root 27. Root 29. 29. 30. Whatever you can write down. All these are between 25 and 36. So you can write 5, root 26, root 27, root 29, root 36. They have asked what two? Don't write the third one. Just take these two. You cannot find the root of 26. That is why it is an irrational number. But it is greater than 5 because its value is coming after root 25. Whose value is 5? So, steps to If you have two rational numbers given and you have to insert irrational numbers in the first place, you will see that the number that we have given, the first number that we have given, is the square root. It is 25 ka square root 25 and 6 is root 36. In the in between comes up root 26 and root 27. The last number is root 36. So you got two rational numbers between 5 and 6, and those numbers are root 26 and root 27. I hope the question is clear to you. Let us take one more and set five rational numbers. So 2 root 5, what is 2 root 5? 2 root 5 is 5 into 2 into 2, and 3 root 3 is 3 into 3 into 3, because they are square roots there is also a square root this is root 20 it is root 27 root 21 root 22 root 23 root 24 can i take root 25 should i take root 26 i shouldn't take root 25 because ye irrational number nahi hai Ye ek rational number hai. So I cannot take this number. I take 21, 22, 22, 24, 26 as a rational number between root 20 and root 27. 
the same number now 2 and 3 because the to insert rational number between root 2 and root 3 so the, the so the root 2 and root 3 are two irrational numbers i need to find out numbers between 2 2 and root 3 so you can see that what is 4 here 4 is, uh, what is 2 here 2 is a square root is square root 2 and square root 3 are two irrational numbers i need to insert a number which is of course greater than root 2 and less than root 3 and also it is uh, it is uh, uh, you know um, um, rational numbers complete numbers i want between this what should i do in this question so root 2 when I square root 2, I got 2 as the output and squaring root 3 gives me 3 as the output. Now, root 3 ka output 3 hai and root 2 ka output 2 hai. I should take a number which is bigger than 2 and a complete square. Can I take 2.25 and can I take 2 point just more 2.25. 76 will be fine to take 2.76 2.25 and 1.96 is less than 2 next is the square of this is square of 2 then what is 2.25 square of 1.5 so i can write down 2 and i can write down here 1.5 but it is actually 2.25 the next number, um, now you should try to take these numbers like this. And this is the square of 15. The square of 16. Let us find a square quickly. Two fifty-six. I am writing down 2.56. And then comes the number 3. What is 1? So, so what is... So, 1.5 is square of 2.25. So, I should take here 2.25 to 2, then 2.25, 2.56 and 3 are the numbers. This number comes out, it will give out to us 1.5, but it is a rational number and is greater than root 2. I hope you understand that. So this is uh, root 2 and root 3. I find the squares of them. I got here 1.5 and 1.6. So those questions were short questions of this chapter. Now if I move ahead from these questions, I move on to the other type of questions. So these are the most important part of this chapter. These questions are very important. They generally comes in the exam. So, I am talking about rationalizing the denominator. Now, what I am trying to do is that I will take this topic in the next video because uh, I want to, uh, want to say to that practice those questions, previous one in that video, go through it properly and be ready for the next video which gives you the idea how to rationalize a denominator. Rationalizing the denominator will go long way with you because there are lot many questions which are being asked in the exam from rationalizing the denominator subscribe the channel please share the video and give me your comments about about the things you want more from me i will, will this this channel is about helping the students of class 9th and class 10th icc board for preparing for preparing uh preparing for your syllabus of class 9 so keep waiting for the video it will get very soon the topic is rationalizing the denominator so next video will be coming your way by today evening or tomorrow morning till then bye bye share this channel subscribe this channel please thank you very much